Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris is going to travel to Guatemala and Mexico this weekend, although she will not be traveling to the southern border. That's what we know as of right now. This comes just after the Department of Homeland Security officially ended former President Trump's Remain in Mexico policy. Joining us this morning to talk more about this is the forming, uh, former acting commissioner of the Border Patrol, Mark Morgan. Back with us bright and early this morning. Mark, uh, nice to see you. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. You bet, Rob. Thanks for having me. Um, the administration just taking away that Remain in Mexico policy. That just happened. Uh, it's another, yet another Trump-era policy that was working. Um, uh, you know, when they said they were going to do this, I wasn't convinced they were actually going to follow through. They have. Did that surprise you? No, it actually didn't surprise me. With everything that they've dismantled and done, Rob, I, I wasn't surprised a bit. And this is key because of all the network of tools, initiatives, and policies, the Remain in Mexico program was the the, the largest game changer that closed one of the most significant loopholes in our, in our broken immigration system. By 2019, the, the cartels, the smugglers, and the migrants themselves do that if you came to our border with a kid as a family, you were going to be released into the interior United States. That's what drove the crisis in 2019. Under President Trump, the Remain in Mexico program, it closed that loophole. No longer were families coming to the border being released in the United States never to be heard from again. Hmm. And that resulted in FY 2020, four to 500,000 less immigrants trying to illegally our, uh, enter our border. It worked. It was successful. And now this administration has undone it. And now they're trying to blame everything and everybody but their undoing of the policies for creating crisis and numbers that we haven't seen in our border in over two decades. Okay, so right now, here we are, June 4th. Uh, we are expecting the May numbers pretty soon for crossings. The numbers that we saw in April were the worst in over 20 years. How bad do you think they're going to be for May? Because now we're in the, the height of the spring, and that's when we generally see the, uh, the highest percentages of crossings at the southern border. Look here, this is my first time answering that question on your show right now, Rob. And, and I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you we're going to see the numbers close to 170,000, if not more again. That means three months back to back to back where they have been the highest numbers we've seen in over two decades. Yet this administration refused to be honest with the American people about the crisis. They refused to take responsibility and they continue to blame the, uh, the, the, the Trump administration. And now as a distraction technique, they keep folks on, on, on Vice President Harris going to the Northern Triangle countries to talk about root causes. Wow. But we've known what the root causes are for decades. The root causes haven't changed. What changes is U.S. immigration policy that drives the crisis like the one we have now because of this administration dismantling of every single effective tool, authority, and policy that we had under the Trump administration. Mark, you're the expert, and I do want to get to Kamala Harris's visit to Mexico, but I, I'm just doing some fuzzy math in my head right now. If we're over 170,000, that would mean early Clinton administration, that would make this perhaps the worst we've seen at the southern border in, in around 30 years. Is that accurate? Yes, that's accurate. Look, and I'm making the case this is the worst we've ever seen. Because, again, back in the, the, the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, what we saw mainly was a bunch of single adults, and then we had a high degree of recidivism. So it was the same person again right. and again and again, and we were removing them. Now, they're not, the, the recidivism now is not where it's at. So the, every single illegal immigrant coming across is basically a new illegal immigrant. And in addition to that, we're actually releasing them, and we're, we're not allowing ICE to lawfully deport them. So All right. I'm saying this is the worst crisis in U.S. history. Unbelievable. Uh, Senator Ted Cruz uh, was on Twitter, and he posted an image of uh, Kamala Harris and had some fun with this. It was a meme. Um, Harris has gone 72 days without holding a press conference visiting our southern border. So she's now going to go to Mexico. She's going to go to Guatemala this weekend. She's going to root out the, the, uh, the, the origins of the crisis, which are, you know, in these, these uh, northern triangle countries. Why do we care about the problem exists on the four states of the southern border, which affects the other 46 states in the United States? OK, why do why why is she traveling to Guatemala? Why is she not going to the border? How big a joke has this become? It's a complete joke. But I, I tell you, I, I'm actually glad she, she's nowhere near it because, it, look, she's just going to take a crisis and, and turn it into a catastrophic crisis. Look, we know that these are not mutually exclusive approaches. Yes, do we need to continue to work with the Northern Triangle countries to get them to improve their economic conditions? Yes, and we've done that. We've done that administration after administration, both on the right and the left. 
So, look, we need to continue to do that. But at the same time, she should be going to the southwest border and talking to the border security experts. Look, they rely on Dr. Fauci for everything related to COVID. Then why are they dismissing the Border Patrol? Why yeah. are they dismissing the men and women that risk their lives every single day and are experts at our border security? They're not talking to them. They're not listening to them. And they're dismissing them. And that's why we're absolutely having a crisis on our southwest border. It's just, border. it's such a joke. And it should be an insult to it every is. American out there. Uh, Mark, do me a favor. Come back and see us when those May numbers do come out. Uh, I want to process some of that information and some of the numbers that you gave us once we get the, the re a real look at what that, what that picture looks like. It's going to be fascinating. Uh, but like you said, I think it's going to be even worse than what we saw in April. That's Mark Morgan. Thank you so much for being with us. You bet, Ron. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.